Ron, in the previous video, we talked about importance of networking if you are looking for a job. I felt that during COVID time, it's good to network online or Zoom, and it's good for the introverts because it's good helping them. But for extroverts, they, they want to see the people and they like to interact. So what tips you have now for importance of networking and where do you see networking is going to go after COVID if, or after everything opens up again? Yeah, it, it's interesting because networking was so difficult during this time, right? Yeah. During COVID, uh, a lot of people felt isolated from uh, their coworkers, from their companies, and companies went out of their way to make sure that people still felt included. Yeah. What I think you can take out of this is that human connection is very important. Yes. Even if you're a little bit of an introvert, you need to develop strategies. Mm -hmm. If you're going to control your own career, as I mentioned in the last yes. video, if you're going to control your own career, then you need to have a network that allows you mm -hmm. to access the opportunities that you're truly interested in. So an example, if I am working as a remote Ruby developer, yeah. I'm going to search on LinkedIn for other remote Ruby developers or on YouTube or places where people are doing videos to try to find communities I mean, where I can begin to connect with yes. people. And that doesn't always have to be on LinkedIn, yeah. particularly with technology. Technologists actually don't like LinkedIn <laughs> in a lot of cases, right? They do everything they can to be as unreachable as possible. Yeah. Why? Because they get bombed by recruiters yeah. and they don't want to, they, they, they feel like, it feels intrusive to them. Yeah. That's why I mentioned to you, I think ultimately where this is all going is the, the candidates are going to clamor and begin to claw control away of, of how they interact with companies mm -hmm. uh, from mm -hmm. recruiters. I think it's going to, I think it's going to change pretty significantly. That's a little bit down the road, but I think yeah. that's coming network, network, network. You can never have enough connections. Yeah. Yeah, I got my first job through networking. I knew someone that knew someone that were hiring and they just introduced me and the rest was on me. Sure, sure. And it's and, and so often that happens. Yeah. Um, what you find is that in a, in a city like Chicago, um, the, the technology community is very tightly knit. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of knows everybody, everybody and you know what companies are good, what companies are bad. Well, how does that happen? Um, and there was a, an organization that started here in Chicago uh, called Built In. I don't know if you're familiar with that or if your mm -hmm. audience is familiar with that. But Built In started here in Chicago, and it was really a community to talk <laughs> about startups and opportunities yes. uh, for in startups. And that became a whole uh, a community focused around technology, startups, jobs. The job board uh, actually yeah. built out of that community. Um, I, I just don't think you can have enough... Uh, outreach opportunities to people who think like you do and want to do the same yeah. things that you want to yeah. do.